Did you guys, uh, either of you guys ever do any, like, criminal behavior growing up? You asked this I, before. I once stole a oh, Hot Wheels car from my preschool. It may not have been on this. You I did once what? I stole bubble gum from a grocery store, but I gave it right back. Really? <laughs> you gave it right back? <laughs> I yeah. will neither did you say you stole a Hot Wheels vehicle? From my preschool when I was in preschool. Well, I'm glad I'm wearing a wire now. This is great. <laughs> you fucking yeah, me and my friends we used, me and my friends used to get into i've I've gotten into way more more trouble than any of you this is actually kind of funny how, how tame this was you stole a matchbox card you stole something from a grocery store and gave it right back Bubble gum. she's yeah, a good she's not. a good girl oh. I ran back to the oh, store, yeah. so I'm sorry I stole this. <laughs> me and me, me and my little <laughs> idiot friends, we used to uh, we used to have this game that we called Pud Wappin. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> oh yeah, so basically what it is is you get all your little dirtbag rascal friends together, and there was probably like five to eight of us, and How we'd old? go out late at night. How old are you? Um. 10 to 13 years old, I would say, kind of somewhere okay. in that range. So just just starting to become a douchebag. Oh, just the stain on the jock strap of society type of individuals. <laughs> yeah. And so, Nothing much you know, we would head out. Yeah, not precisely. And we would head <laughs> out and our little pack. And it was, it was always a uh, late fall for pud whapping. And the <laughs> object of this game was you walk. And you find houses that had bagged up their leaves in those those giant brown bags, and you know they fucking they stack them up uh, at the end of their driveways. And the whole goal is to spot them, and then run as fast as you can and just throw your body horizontally into these <laughs> leaves and careen into them and just have them. Is all over the place, I don't... and then you just get up and you fucking book it. And, I can't uh... <laughs> imagine anything. I can't imagine anything going wrong with that. Nothing whatsoever. Zero. Things oh yeah. Going so... wrong. <laughs> yeah, I wrecked up so... my dog shit in this one. <laughs> <laughs> Typically, it always went great. It was a lot of fun. You would do it. Well, it, it slowly evolved into us uh, doing the same kind of horizontal maneuver. But into those giant inflatable like Santas and snow globes that people put up in their yards during like Christmas. Oh, so you have so, seasonal <laughs> pud whacking. Oh, oh yeah, pud, yo, pud, yeah, pud whapping ended up being a year-round sport. So, <laughs> <laughs> you know, we would go and fucking throw our bodies into these things and fucking boom, <clears throat> they'd, they'd fucking fizzle down, and you'd get up and fucking run away. Sometimes the light would go on, you'd be like. Ding, 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 and then you fucking book it. And so one day we fucking were out there and there was this gigantic fucking sleigh and reindeer set up, all inflatable. It was like the holy grail of pud whapping, you know? So we see it and we're like, oh my god. There it is, baby. And <clears throat> I was the one to right away I was like, this one's mine. I put on my fa fast shoes and I start going at it. And about halfway, I was like, wow, this thing is fucking massive. And I launch, I'm in midair sideways, and boom, I nail it and fall and collapse into it. And I realize that they've weighed this thing down with bricks. <laughs> 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 so my back was just like... <laughs> oh, I was, I was going to say... Of it. <laughs> I was going to say... The lights come on, and that, you know, I'm just trying to hobble away as my back. I'm like, eh. <laughs> I was going to say, I hope someone got wise to this and then just put a giant rock in a bag and let you oh, fucking oh, yeah. morons head first crash into it and give yourself <laughs> brain it trauma. They're little douchebags. I can't even think of, nowadays you thinking back it. on that. Like, what a little fucking little brat bastards. The fucking yes, street you bastards. all deserve it. <laughs> and uh, I think the very last one that we ever did was uh, someone else had like smashed their leaves and then the lights came on and that guy immediately like pulled into his driveway and was like, hey, you little fucking shit. And he, like, got out of his vehicle. We just, like, kept going, but a couple of them, like, kind of milled around too long. And he was, like, able to get them. 
and uh, they had to like clean it all up. It wasn't too bad of an encounter, but uh, <laughs> I got right the fuck out of there. That was I was like, oh my god! All right. Well, back home. Your broken Pud back. Pud great sport. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was, nurse my broken back. <laughs> my, the flesh all skinned off. 